guys, Kevin here. Gonna take a video of this 2004 Itasca Sonova by Winnebago. It's a 30B. I've got all the compartments open up. I'll go through it, see what I can find. They do have a CB radio and there's the antenna looks like. I'm not super, super familiar with uh, how those work and if it works, but um, we'll see what we can find out. But anyway, we've got, the headlights look nice and fresh, that's for sure. I opened up the hood. Like we really haven't really done a deep cleaning on this. They've kind of like washed it once on the outside and sits out here, but generally it just looks really clean. They've added an extra side, uh, an RV horn. So that's like um, not the standard horn that it came with. It's gonna have a little bit more power behind it. But everything looks really nice and clean actually. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. So cool. Close that up. Take another look. I'm gonna look underneath too, because I really didn't see what it looks like under here. Nothing super interesting, but I mean, no, not a lot of rust or things like that. It's got some kind of additional shock up here that might be some kind of steering stabilizer. Um, it's a Bilstein shock. I just haven't seen it in that position before. It's probably another one over here. That's a, that blue and gold or blue and yellow is a Bilstein shock, which is a really good shock. But being this, there's one in front, unless that was a standard thing that, that um, Chevy did, that could be some kind of stabilizer that they added at some point. Which is common. If somebody wants to get their steering a little bit more stabilized, so to speak, they'll, it's pretty common to add a steering stabilizer. So I did check the date code on the tires. These are Michelin tires. They're not original. These were replaced a couple years ago. The date code is 2418. They're in, they look like they're in great shape. They probably don't even have that many miles on them. Um, but we still check them. They're only basically, a, they're probably put on in 19 based on the date code, which means they're basically a couple years old. So those tires are perfectly good. Windshield looks good, don't see any major cracks and if we did have a crack we'd obviously replace that but looking good Let's come around the side here the first compartment this is just access to your fresh water pump i believe i think that's what that is your propane is down here just a uh, thing for your lug nuts just a small space, maybe for some tools. All right, so as far as the exterior goes, it's super, super straight as far as the body. Don't see any damage. And in the, in the, in the pictures and in the video, it looks good as well, but you can't see the little stuff, which I just want to point it out because it's, is what it is these decals are obviously original you know you see they have some wear to them and um it's pretty common obviously much more important is the condition of the motorhome itself mechanically there are things that we do from time to time it just costs you know money and we don't do it automatically unless somebody wants their coat to look shiny and new but we can take a new clear coat and put it over the whole exterior at that, that point before they do that they'll actually paint the stripes back on so instead of being the stickers they'll be paint and then they re-clear coat it when it, they're done with that it looks completely amazing yeah it costs four grand give or take and is it worth it it just depends on what you um what you're trying to accomplish you know at the same time, you're, the, the inside of the coach is amazing. The mechanical workings of the coach looks pretty good so far. So 
if you're not too interested in impressing others, then I think you'd be pretty satisfied with how it is. So you've got your awning here. The, the awning material looks good. Of course, we check it, make sure there's no holes, tears, etc. Come around to the main storage compartment. They've put some sort of cover over the tanks, probably to keep from getting too much. Um, maybe they were in a cold climate at once, so they're trying to keep it from freezing. This table here, um, it actually sits outside. I'm surprised it's even in here. It's usually missing. So I'm gonna have to take get the keys of the vehicle. Hold on. I had the engine on. Oops. Just put that anywhere. So, all right. So, this is a table that hooks on to something out here. I'll show you what, in just a second. But there's another storage compartment that goes in pretty nice. You can see the inside of this thing just looks pretty fresh for, especially for an 04. That's pretty nice. There's lights inside of these too. We check all those bulbs and things. So we close this one. This is what I wanted to show you here. This is a, I think, some sort of radio. If I can find the right key. Let's try this one. Ta-da! All right. So we have speakers. We have some outlets. 12 volts and cable connection and a radio it's turning on now so that's good there you go a little smooth jazz for you all right so there's another outlet out here this table, let's see if I can manage it with one hand. So it sits up here. So you have a place to rest some things or things, whatever you're doing outside, you have a place to, to let it sit. It's pretty sturdy. Turn that off. Close that. So there you have it. That's incredibly exciting, I know. Come around this way, Sonova. You've also got the dual fill. They've added a secondary. Uh, basically, there's two places to use. You know, basically, what is it? it's a valve extender, so you can fill up your back, your inside tire easier. They don't come with that. I was probably added at some point, so it's nice to have another compartment here. Primary storage compartment. Winnebago is awesome. They put stickers on every piece. It's even, I can't believe it's still on here. So if you ever had damage to this panel, you call them and give them this, um, you know, the serial number on there and they know exactly which panel that is, where it goes. Okay, so you got one more compartment down here and the ladder extender. So if you want to use the exterior ladder, you can have another extension. These tools over here, uh, which come off the wall, I can't believe how clean this thing looks in here. Those tools will assist you in getting the slide in. If the slide is not working properly, that'll those tools will manually crank the slide in. Hopefully you never have to use them and I've never seen them in action because it didn't happen that often. But at least it hasn't happened in 10 years I've been here. But that is a kind of fail safe in case something does happen or you lose power. So I have noticed they've they pretty much made all of the lights inside and then even the outside patio light is an LED light now. That's an exhaust fan for the microwave inside. So it doesn't leave fumes inside. You've got this pull out here. This is a window awning. So this comes out and you've seen them. I'm sure you've seen them before. Attaches onto there and you have a shade of your window. That's an aftermarket product. It's in great shape. It's not rusting or anything like that. Let's come around. I did take a quick video of the roof, so I'll make sure you get that as well. 
it's got this funky rock guard back here you know is what it is but if you're towing it's real helpful also it has the tow package of course on this side this is a gravity fill for your water let me get the key again So you, I'm sure you know what that is. I just want to point it out real quick. So you can fill the water up from home. We give you the adapter to hook onto the to the the hose to fit in the side there. Sorry, the generator's over here. It's a little loud. I'm going to close the door. There's the generator. Sounds good, and it's an Onan 4000. There's your compartment for your fuel. And then the sewage department, the uh, dump station, there's a cover missing here. That's something we would easily have in stock, I'm guessing. You've got your standard setup. We've already, this is a sticker that indicates we flush the tanks. We have somebody comes around and does a mobile flush of the tanks. There's your 30 amp cord. There's your outside shower with hot and cold water. You can turn on the water pump from here. Cable input, this is where you connect to the um, to fill your water if you're camping at a campsite. So you can run your hose through here and run it down here, and then you can still close your close your door. I guess you can run it through here too. So any other questions about this area? Let me know. I know you, I saw your email asking about it. All right, so this is an interesting spot because well, this is where that tool gets inserted, I think, to crank the slide in, right there. If you, have, if you ever had to do it, like I said, never had to. So this is a cool, they don't really do this anymore where the slide out compartment, the slide out brings out your storage with you. So when you have stuff on this side, you're not having to bend down underneath and it's just a pain in the butt. So incidentally, the decals look pretty good on this side. There, it's probably the other side that had most of the sun. You have another window on in here, and good, the decals look good on this side all around, all throughout. This whole side looks actually fantastic. Um, there's a big double window awning on this side. Then you have the slide toppers. I always check the area here for tears, and if there was any, we'd take care of that typically. But this is your largest compartment here. This thing is massive. It looks really clean. You look inside all here, the metal's looking good. Hope you guys are enjoying some popcorn with your in-flight movie tonight. So this is, I mean, you can put tons of your stuff, your chairs, if you golf, whatever more over here so this is like i said the workhorse chassis everything's looking good so let's start heading inside we're already at 13 minutes wow another indicator that we've flushed the tanks washed the tanks this says no warranty it basically says as is no warranty that's something that california makes us put up there it just means no warranties implied and honestly I don't think you can get a warranty on a coach this age but we go through with so much we, just, we go, go to such great lengths to try to make sure the customers are getting a good product so I'm confident in what we do here and we've been here since 1972 we look at our lot it's actually we have a fraction of what we normally have as far as inventory but this is we're doing pretty good i mean we have a whole row of class a gas coaches diesel pushers down there some class c's and a couple more rows this way so i know a lot of dealers are struggling we're working hard to get good inventory it's just not as common for us to get trade-ins this stock number is indicative of a trade-in most of our units we find we purchase this one came to us that it's cool because they actually this coach actually was originally purchased from our store. 
So I think that's pretty cool. This is a manual awning. It's a good size awning also. So we've got our screen. All this looks to be in good shape, intact. No discoloring on the door. Lock mechanism is still good, strong. Those are things we could replace if we needed, but that's looking good. Winnebago just seems to use better materials, stronger plastics. It's got this extra handle added on. It's got this other one here, but just so you have a nice grip. The batteries are under here. This is your So there's probably your engine battery and the two house. And the date on those is 719. This one's new, it's 121. So we definitely would be checking. The batteries are, or I can tell they're still working well. There was no issue with getting this coach started or anything, but we, well, we have ways of testing to make sure they're not just, you know, functioning, but they're at their full capacity or strong capacity. Being that they're two years old, basically, two and a half years old, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if they put in a new set, but at the very least, we do a thorough job of checking everything. Batteries are pretty easy. Main entry switch to turn on your power. Step on or off it means your step's gonna stay out or go in when you're camping. Usually you want it out. Lights, table extender. This chair moves. You can release it from here if you wanna move it around a little more freely. Right now it's easily moving around there's a missing awning or um this is missing a pull down i believe it had one at one point yeah there's the connector so that's something i would normally ask them to replace okay not that big of a deal you have your standard door one here so let's take a look up front so you have a backup camera it looks like it was added aftermarket looks like it is on that's good engine it's, sounds nice and strong it's telling me that i'm in park which i should be pull to apply all right so i want to point out something this is also extremely common unfortunately with the gms and i think it's something that might be fixable but i don't know that we that we do it it's a, you have to take it to a chassis shop they have to order the part take some time so the screen that reads out the miles is difficult to read. Now, I know we have the miles documented. I can see that it's a 64. You know, it's, it's not super easy to read, especially for on camera. It's just something that, that you see with these GM um, readouts. So that readout can be replaced. It's something that they have to order, like I said, from a chassis shop that works on these things or GM um, trucks, truck um, service place. But you have your fans here. They're working, they're nice and quiet. Got one on each side. All the lights are good. Another radio in here. There's your CB. Looks like it's functioning. Breaker, breaker, what's your 20? Oh, somebody heard me, maybe. It's a Cobra brand. Leveling jacks. You have uh, heated mirrors. And these are going to control the position of the top mirror on each side. The bottom one is manual. This, there's a horn. Told you it was pretty powerful. Hopefully you could pick that up without blasting your ears. I don't know what this switch is. I was curious but it says on off and I mean it, it it could be the ejector for the passenger seat that's something but um, perhaps the technician can figure out what exactly it does do let's take a look up here you got these pull downs for the Sun You've got this is um, nice and cleared out clear plug into the satellite receiver satellite dish rather this, this is one area whenever I open it up I'm a little scared and I didn't open it up beforehand because it's usually just full of junk and wires but they've done a pretty good job of keeping it really really clean so they've taken care of their stuff there's your television they've mounted it up here it used to have an actual tube TV but 
they did a good job of mounting it up here and it's a vizio I'm sure it's another smart tv like the one in the back a little storage up there these chairs of course swivel i'm sure you know that um dash ac feels cold here we go these seem to all have oh, okay they're like a level or they these are definitely not the original these are like a higher quality much thicker blind and it's probably blocks the light out as well they're just they they, they work by just grabbing on them pushing back up they do whatever you want them to do this is a jackknife sofa got some seat belts just a standard jackknife turns into a bed look at some of these storage compartments up here you'll see all of these lights were converted to LED which is simple you just put an LED bulb in and then what that obviously does is it removes it takes out all that power that's being drained from those um, those regular incandescent bulbs okay so floor and carpet looks good we do we shampoo it and everything when we actually get to cleaning it for somebody looking at the glass like all the glass looks good let's take a look over the kitchen oh wow got all the original manuals that came with it that's pretty cool to have all the documents so you have all your original stuff we call it the library the coach library nice got your microwave oven Looks nice and clean. I like these stove tops because these covers because they're they create more more usable space if you're not using your stove top. Also looks very clean. So a little storage down here. This looks good. A little place to put some plastic bags for trash cans. We've got three more drawers here. This one's a little deeper on the bottom. Okay. This slides back and forth to give you a little bit more space if you're still working with the sink. And of course, you get that as well. Not a massive kitchen, but this is a 30 footer, so I do like that you got the sofa and the dinette all over one side. Materials in Winnebago are very in good shape. I mean, Winnebago is the only company that I know that makes their own furniture. They have a company called Stitchcraft, which I think they purchased in the 60s or late 50s. And they still make all their own furniture. The materials are hand-picked. So I'm talking, this is a you know, 17, 18-year-old motorhome, and everything still is firm, comfortable, and holds up, stands the test of time, which you can't say for a lot of manufacturers these days got the cabinet trees and put together well a lot of the stuff in indiana where they build these are built by the amish actually there's your fridge by the way good point good time to point out fridge included no obvious smells this coach did not have any smokers pets and not that it's not a good thing to bring your pet but there was nothing that I can smell on this coach that is of uh, concern. It's pretty much odorless. It just smells like a motorhome. More drawers. This is gonna be your your breaker box. So your yeah, your breakers down here. More drawers. This is your pantry. Or it could second as another closet. You could remove these or position them differently. Totally adjustable. And also to point out, I have the air conditioner on. It's kicking out nice and cold. You've got your addict fan. Look at not even one leaf in here. Super, super clean. That's obviously moves there real nicely through the coach. This is your satellite man, the manual satellite. That's they work. You just have to get it pointed in the right direction. But all the linoleum looks great. There's not even really 
too much at all to report. So this actually is 387 hours now just from being on our lot. It's been a warm end of summer. So we run it during the day when we're showing coaches. So we put about 25 more hours on it just since it's been here. Your, your uh, thermostat. Here's your shower. We'll take a look at that. Man, that thing blows ice cold. Shower's looking clean. Yep. Well, uh, hill hangers here and there. They've added some different things. Some kind of other safety monitor for either smoke or there's a carbon carbon dioxide one on the floor over there. This is cute. I may have to keep that. So just telling you, it's not included with the motorhome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> here we go. Got some lines back here. This is definitely the aftermarket bed. Here's your TV, has all your different things. You can probably add more channels to it if you're trying to get stuff that's not in, on here. You just have to go to your menu. Anyway, standard uh, stuff. I'm gonna put this, oh, there's a place for it right here. So under the bed, not really a whole lot of storage. Actually, that's your water pump. That must have been something else outside. There's your, that's your water pump. Winnebago is definitely known for their good size water tanks. I'd have to look up the brochure to see, but that is a good size water tank, I can tell you. A lot of the new Class A's that are this size or even a little bigger, they've got 40, maybe 50 gallons. I bet this one is at least 60, maybe more. There's some decent storage right here, actually. Okay. The only bulbs in the house that haven't been replaced with LEDs. Well, actually, those are LEDs. They're just um, warm looking. That's cool. So I was thinking those weren't LEDs, but they actually are. So, got some... I don't know what this is. Oh, this must have held something, but I don't know what. Some kind of tubular case, or maybe this is some kind of shade to go over something. I don't know if it attaches to the awning or what. Anyway, there's uh, hanging storage. Again, I don't know what this switch is for. Whoops. But that could be uh, tracked down. Got some nice storage up here. Okay. Blinds over here, just making sure there's no stains or anything. Very good. All right, so getting to the point where I'm gonna wrap up here. Some more drawers, nice size side table. This needs to be scooted over. Here's your divider if you wanted to close that off. Check out the bathroom. Nice lights, those LEDs really do a good job lighting up the coach. Got an outlet there. But, I mean, you, you can see for yourself this coach, usually there's like chemical spills and all kinds of craziness. Say hello. But, um, really nice unit. So here's a view looking out into the living room. Hope I didn't forget anything, but I'm gonna upload this to YouTube for you guys and I'm gonna work on getting out of here, getting home to my family. I've got a five and a six year old. There's actually an old barometer, thermometer. I, I have one of these too um, in wood that has been passed down from my family. I just kind of dig them. I'm not sure if it works, but yeah, I mean, the temperature is probably correct. But it's something cool. But any other questions you guys think of, please let me know. Make sure I have everything in gear. Oh, my headlights are on. Duh. <laughs> Why is it yelling at me? Because the headlights are on. So, I think I'm gonna wrap up. One more thing, don't forget. Turn that off, otherwise that stays on. Just 
stay with me while I wind it down. Off. Stop. All right. So hope to hear from you guys with some questions or comments about the motorhome. They're going west for the winter. And there's the stock number. All right, have a wonderful evening.